Yes, hello guys and welcome back to Exposure Academy. So previously we talked about like uh, the initiation, elongation and termination of the replication, right? So there are a few more important topics are there which were left. Uh, so in this lecture, we'll discuss about the beta clamps or the sliding clamp, which I was uh, telling about, like, which is important uh, as part of the replication. Okay, so the sliding clamps, <coughs> now, the function, and uh, like why we are talking about this sliding glands. So they actually increase the DNA polymerase processivity. Okay, so this is very important, like how uh, the sliding clamps are helping in increasing the polymerase processivity. Okay, so at the, uh, they act at the replication curve and it is association of the sliding clamps with the DNA polymerase is important. Okay, so clamp means like the word itself is exposed to hold. And they are made up of multiple identical subunits assembled in the shape of the donut. Can you see it over here? So how many subunits are there? Can you, can anyone tell me how many subunits are there? By looking at this figure and this figure, can you tell me uh, the number of the subunits uh, which is required for sliding clamp? Six, ma'am. Yes, very good. So there are six subunits are there. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And at the center, you have got your the DNA. Okay. So the gap around this is around 35 angstroms. And the total diameter of the DNA is around 20 angstrom or 2 nanometer. Like, don't get confused by the number, okay? In few reference book, it is given as 2 nanometer, the total diameter of the DNA. Or you can also say that it is 20 angstrom. So, inner space is there, okay? For a thin layer of one or two water molecules also to be present between the sliding clamp and the DNA. Now, again, the water molecules are present. Now, anyone can tell me why the water molecules are present? Like, what, is, what will be the importance of having the water molecules between any two molecules? Here is the sliding clamp and DNA. So, why the water molecule is present? For bonding, ma'am. Hydrogen bonding. Very good. So every time when water molecule is present, it is because for the interactions. And what kind of interaction a water molecule present can give, that is always the hydrogen bonds. Okay. So it helps in the interactions between the protein. So what is the protein over here? This is a protein, the sliding clamp and the DNA. So here we have got the small association, so the weak association in the form of the hydrogen bonds. Good. Now, the hole in the center of the clamp is large enough to encircle the DNA double helix and uh, leave room for layer of two molecules between the DNA and the protein. <coughs> Sorry. So, these properties will allow the clamp proteins to, <coughs> Sorry. to slide along the DNA without dissociating from it. So it is helping, okay? It is helping to move. So sliding clamp can move along the DNA. So importantly, sliding DNA clamps also bind tightly to DNA polymerase to, to the primer template junction. Now guys, one thing always remember is wherever, whenever you have got a primer template junction, okay, then only the sliding clamp is present. If you don't have private template junctions, there will be no sliding clamp. And when there is no sliding clamp, then there won't be any DNA polymerase. Okay. So every time when you have a primer template junction, the sliding clamp will be present. Sliding clamp recognizes the association of primer template junction. Okay. And DNA polymerase will be only possible for the DNA polymerase to sit on the DNA helix to synthesize whenever the sliding clamp is present. And overall, when all this sliding clamp, everything is present, then only the DNA polymerase can sit and it becomes easy for it to move along the DNA template to carry out the replication. Okay, guys, is this much clear? The importance of having the sliding clamp? Is this much is clear? Yes, ma'am. 
Okay. Now, how does the association with this sliding clamp change the processivity of the DNA polymerase? Okay. How? How it is helping? So, in simple, agar sliding clamp hai, the DNA polymerase is going to synthesize efficiently. Agar nahi hai, it cannot. It will fall off from the DNA template. Okay. So, in the absence of this sliding clamp, in the absence of the sliding clamp, DNA polymerase dissociates and diffuses away from the template DNA while synthesizing around 20 to 100 base pairs synthesized. Okay. So, as you have here DNA template, hai, your DNA polymerase is synthesizing. Okay. But after 20 to 100 nucleotides, when it is being added, it falls off from the template. Okay. It gets out of there. But if you have got sliding clamp, if you have the sliding clamp, what happens is that it is going to keep your DNA polymerase in close proximity of the DNA. It will prevent the polymerase from diffusing away from the DNA template. Okay. It is going to keep it It is going to keep together. And that's how it is increasing the processivity or the efficiency of the DNA polymerase in synthesizing DNA. <coughs> so by keeping the DNA polymerase in close proximity to the DNA, the sliding clamp ensures that the DNA polymerase rapidly rebinds the same primer template junction, increasing the processivity of the DNA polymerase. This is the second point. First point, we have said like why the sliding clamp is important. Second point is the importance of having the sliding clamp in keeping or increasing the efficiency of the DNA polymerase. Okay. Yeah. Look at the look at the figure now. So now it will be more clear for you. So the sliding DNA clamp. They increase the processivity of the associated DNA polymerase. So, as I mentioned before, wherever the primer template junction is there, there only you will have the sliding clamp. Okay. The sliding clamp, it encircles the DNA and binds to the DNA polymerase. Okay. This is the association. Now, the relatively low processivity of the DNA polymerase leads to frequent release from the primer template junction. Agar yahan pe, uh, hai, so what will happen? The chances are that the DNA polymerase might fall off from the template. Okay. But since yahan pe clamp hai, or is clamp in a DNA polymerase ko bhi pakad rakha hai. So it will keep engaged the DNA polymerase along with the DNA. Okay. It will prevent its diffusion away from the DNA. Now, since this is now keeping the DNA polymerase engaged, it is the association of the DNA polymerase with the sliding clamp. It is keeping at the same primer template junction and making sure the DNA polymerase is completing its DNA synthesis. Okay. And as soon as our DNA synthesis is complete, hua, like it, it understands now that there is no other further gap is there, right? Then what happens? Then the DNA polymerase can leave the template. Okay. Now there is no primer template junction is required, right? Because everything has been synthesized. Now the DNA polymerase will leave, and after that, it will. Uh, after that, the sliding clamp will also get released because there is no further template primer or primer template junction. Okay. Yeah. So guys, this is clear. This is really very important to understand the replication. Okay. Everyone, for everyone, it is clear. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Tell me, what about you? <coughs> yes, ma'am. Okay. So let's move further then. Now, sliding clamps. They are opened and placed on the DNA by the clamp loader. Okay. Now, what is this? This is your protein. What we are talking about is clamp loader. So, abhi humne dekha, sliding clamp kya? It's again a ring like structure which opens up at the DNA and uske upar hi aapka DNA polymerase bhi bat hai. Thik hai? So, it's a closed ring in solution but must open to encircle the DNA double helix. It's a special class of protein, uh, uh, protein complex is called clamp loader. 
they catalyze the opening and placement of the selenium clamps on the DNA. You know, if you remember in the previous figure, um, हमारे पास एक सा मेन प्रोटीन लाइक अ वेरी बल्कि प्रोटीन इट इट द क्लॉस लाइक काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर्स सो दोज आर दी टॉप प्रोटीन एंड उसको होल्ड कर रहे हैं वो हो गया आपके क्लैम क्लैडिंग क्लैम जो उसको बना के रखा है वो आपका क्लैम लोडर हो गया ठीक है मे बी फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन दिस आई कैन एक्सप्लेन सो दिस इज योर क्लैम्प लोडर ओके क्लैम्प लोडर है यहाँ पे ना वॉट यू सी इज विद हेल्प ऑफ द ए See, can you see it over here? With the help of the ATP, it is opening the sliding clamp. Okay. Once it is open along the DNA, it is wrapping. And as it is clamp me lag jayega, as it clamp is able to load on the DNA, the loader will leave. Okay. And here, pe now the DNA polymerase can come and synthesize till the gap is present. Okay. I'll show you another figure in that it will be more clear. Just have patience. So these enzymes they couple ATP binding and hydrolysis to the placement of the sliding clamp around the primer ju template junctions. Okay. So clamp loader they also remove sliding clamp from the DNA when there are no longer in use and it does not require ATP hydrolysis. किसी भी protein का conformational change लाने के लिए you always need ATP hydrolysis. ठीक है इतना by default याद रखो. Okay, yeah, this is a very good structure. Uh, the figure again, this figure has been taken from the Watson only. Okay, so look at over here. So you have got the sliding clamp loader over here. It's a five subunit protein and all. Okay, now of course in the eukaryotic cell, it is known as replication factor C or RFC. Same thing. Okay. Now you need to keep this clamp open. To open this clamp, you need ATP. and you can see that where the atp binding is happening so atp is a atp goes in sits at the binding pocket of the clamp loader this is your clamp loader okay atp is sitting over there now your clamp sliding clamp is coming with the help of the atp it is able to open the sliding clamp okay ye loader ho gaya ye sliding clamp ho gaya now once it is open it the clamp loader Wraps around the DNA sliding clamp, okay, and then the ATP hydrolysis happens and gets dissociated. इतने में क्या हुआ? आपका sliding clamp जो है DNA के around wrap हो गया है. Is the figure clear to everyone? What exactly is happening? I'll I have got the video also ready, okay. You can watch in that. But before that, we need to clear these topics. Yes, is everything clear till this much? Yes, ma'am. Okay. <clears throat> Now, DNA synthesis at the replication fork. So we know how exactly the DNA is getting synthesized at the replication fork. हमें मालूम है. But now you need to uh, you need to talk about all the proteins together. अभी हमें कैसे पता है? Like only DNA polymerase acting at the replication fork, and आगे आगे helicase चल रहा है. पीछे पीछे you have got the single sided binding protein and then DNA polymerase coming and uh, synthesizing the DNA, right? Now we need to include the concept of clamp loader as well as sliding clamp. Okay. okay. So at the replication for the leading and the lagging strands are synthesized simultaneously. Okay, and limiting the amount of single-stranded DNA present in the cell during DNA replication. Now this is also very important because you can't keep DNA single-stranded for long time because this will be considered as a mutation in the cell. Okay. So as he, your double helical single-stranded was, as. ओके okay, यहाँ पे आपका हेलीकेस आगे आगे जा रहा है एंड यहाँ पे आपका डीएनए फॉर सिंथेसाइज कर रहा है एज सूर एज दीएनए स्टैंड आर गेटिंग सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड वेरी फास्ट वेरी रैपिडली द डीएनए फॉर आर सिंथेसाइजिंग एंड मेकिंग द न्यू स्टैंड ऑफ डीएनए ओके ओके सो वेरी सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड डीएनए इज ब्रोकन देर इज अ कम्प्लीट ब्रेक इन द क्रोमोजोम एंड देन दैट शुड अंडर गो रिपेयर अगर नहीं होगा रिपेयर वॉट विल है That particular cell will undergo apoptosis. If you cannot repair the cell, then the entire cell will go uh, into the apoptosis. Okay, yeah. 
<clears throat> now so moreover repair of this type of lesion frequently leads to mutation in the dna and that's why having the limiting time where the single stranded dna is present is crucial so to coordinate the replication of both strands multiple dna polymerase function at the replication form now we'll see that ek bar mein kitne dna polymerase hame lagte hain theek hai now look at the figure look at the figure so this is your slide with clamp which we were talking about ab ye open structure hai theek hai ye ho gaya aapka clamp loader now this clamp loader is holding your dna polymerase now how many dna polymerase are present there are three dna polymerase present right now the question is why three dna polymerase jabki hame Two are required for DNA replication. Now, who can tell me why the third protein is present? Third DNA polymerase is present. Yes, Akshaya, what do you think? Why we have got uh, th three DNA polymerase instead of two? <coughs> maybe, uh, maybe for stabilizing or uh, for any repair kind of. Nay, nay, nay. When replication is going on, there is no repair happening. If repair is happening, then no replication is happening. Yes. Uh, what about Chandi? You, what guesses can you have? No idea, ma'am. Okay. Shruti, can we? Uh, there is leading and lagging strand two DNA polymerases. maybe maybe I'm, i'm just guessing okay but the, that's what i'm saying na no? two are required for leading and lagging third ki zero kya hai yeah um okay it's okay no problem i'll tell ma'am because ah yes um because uh, it can able to bind uh, three three polymerases na no? the mm -hmm. loader have three uh, it can have three loader like can that. have four also but at a time it is bound with the three dna polymerase see when there is a requirement then only the protein is going to do the function right if there is no requirement no need to do the function because it it involves lot of amount of energy okay we don't simply spend money on the stuff we don't want right in the same way cell don't spend their energy on the stuff which they don't require so here it is important to have is it, uh, uh, yes to, is it because uh, is it and um, dna pol uh, the repairing the one that repairs the okazaki fragment that one नहीं, all the three are DNA fall three. Okay, so the fragment gap filling okay. is fall one. Yeah, that, that's why since only one was labeled as fall three, so I thought maybe uh, oh, no, no. one of them was fall one. No, all the three are same, and DNA fall one is freely present in the nucleus. It is not bound to anything. Remember, I have always said the DNA oh, pol three okay. is the hollow enzyme. Now, when you say hollow enzyme, it means the complete enzyme along with the tau protein, sliding clamp loader, and the sliding clamp. This entire thing is called the hollow enzyme. Only this particular portion is called DNA pol three. If total is the hollow enzyme, yes. Yes. Anyone was saying something? Okay. So <clears throat> no problem. See, if you remember in the case of the uh, lagging strand, I have mentioned that the loader can move only in one direction, right? This direction में आपका leading strand जा रहा है. And in the same direction. your lagging strand is also going only difference is that it just brings out the loop like structure so that the dna polymerase can synthesize in this direction right abhi kya hoga 
द मोमेंट इट इज सिंथेसाइजिंग दिस विच पोर्शन आगे तो आपका ये फ्री हो गया है राइट न्यू प्राइमर हैज बीन सेट सो बाय द टाइम दिस इज सिंथेसाइजिंग एंड फ्री दिस रीजन विल बी टेकन इन फ्रंट एंड सेकेंड पॉलिमर इसको बाइंड करेगा सो वन एंड टू इज ऑलवेज एसोसिएटेड विद द लैगिंग स्ट्रैंड एंड द वन इज फिक्स फॉर द लीडिंग स्ट्रैंड ओके ओके मे बी द डायग्राम इज नॉट क्लियर बट द कॉन्सेप्ट इज क्लियर आई शो द वीडियो दैन आई गेस इट विल बी क्लियर टू यू गाइज ओके इतना याद रखो दैट द टू आर एसोसिएटेड विद द लैगिंग and one is associated with the leading strand theek hai itna yaad rakho i'll tell i'll tell i'll show the figure in that will as a video <coughs> so how do the multiple polymerases are linked at the replication fork while synthesizing dna on both the leading and the lagging template strands kaise hota hai so ek model bhi propose kiya hai and that came out to be true okay so many people have made the animations and uh, you know to get the clear idea about it okay <coughs> so this t is tau protein okay so as the helicase unwinds the dna at the replication core the leading strand template is exposed and acted immediately by the dna pol 3 pol enzyme okay which is going to synthesize continuous strand of the complemented dna whereas the lagging strand is not immediately acted on by the dna polymerase it takes time now why it is taking time because it needs to bring the loop ahead in front of the dna polymerase then only it can start synthesizing okay now look at the figure <coughs> okay so which direction it is going can you tell me yes anyone see yahan pe aapka dna helicase hai this is your double stranded dna right we'll go slowly slowly okay here you have got your helicase so double stranded dna helicase replication fork is in the this, this direction look at the leading strand dna polymerase so you have got the sliding clamp tau protein and three associated tau proteins which is holding together the your dna polymerase okay now this is clear like dna polymerase is there sliding clamp is there and it is associated with the synthesizing on this strand so ye portion clear hai aapko yes akshay agree yes ma now yes, second now look at the second figure second not second figure the second part so as i said abhi ye direction mein we need to go into this direction replication for can go in one direction at the same time right to wo kaun se direction mein jayega aapka aapka leading strand ke direction mein jayega right but the problem is that i need to synthesize lagging strand in this direction kyunki is direction mein iska 5 prime 3 prime aa raha hai correct is direction mein jana hai so what does the hollow enzyme does is it will wait okay it will wait for this much reason to be open up then what it will is going to do see ye aapke ssb proteins hai single stranded binding proteins are there okay jaise hi wo aage aayega it will come in front of this the dna polymerase so wo uske front mein aayega wo yahan se primer ready ho ke usne wahan pe synthesize karna shuru kar diya theek hai see either you can take loop aise bhi le sakte ho aur aap loop aise bhi le sakte ho but it is going in this direction aa raha hai kya clear ho raha hai thoda bahut yes ma'am now what happens is jaise hi see it has synthesized and reach this much area yes ssb hata dega it is reaching this area so what is happening now there there are no further primer template junction so this dna polymerase will leave okay बट यहाँ पे तब तक रेडी हो गया आपका सिंगल सैडेड ईएनए एलॉग विद द प्राइमर ऐसे सो बाय द टाइम द सेकंड ईएनए पॉलीमरेज विल कम एंड अटैच इट स्टार्ट सिंथेसाइजिंग वो जैसे यहां रीच करेगा इट विल लीव जैसे ही सेकंड करेगा तब तक उसके थर्ड लोडर में थर्ड टर्म प्रोटीन में थर्ड ईएनए पॉलीमरेज विल बी रेडी टू बी लोडेड 
along with the sledding clap. Okay. Abhi, I'll do one thing. I'll show you the figure, the rest of the figure. So this is how it is going to happen. Okay, I'll show you a video once again. Maybe that time it will be clear. <coughs> Watch the video carefully, okay? We'll come back again. <coughs> so this one is your leading strands, okay? Jo nahi chhod raha hai, the DNA polymerase. यहां आपका हेलिकेज है आगे की तरफ जो ऐसे जा रहा है कैन यू सी दिस लाइट ग्रीन कलर इज अ स्लाइडिंग क्लैम्प सो लीडिंग स्ट्रैंड में आपका कांस्टेंट है अब यहां पे देखो जैसे उसने यहां पे इतना सिंथेसाइज किया दिस विल लीव एंड बाय द टाइम द सेकंड इज गेटिंग रेडी टू बी लोडेड ओके हाँ अभी थोड़ा सा आइडिया आया यस मैम थोड़ा बहुत विल सी द वीडियो अगेन सो व्हाट यू सो ओवर देन वाज एवरी टाइम ऑन द लीडिंग स्ट्रैंड द डीएनए पॉलीमरेज इज कॉन्स्टेंट ये पर्टिकुलर पोर्शन जो है आपका कॉन्स्टेंट है ठीक है ये बार बार चेंज नहीं होगा दिस इज जस्ट गोइंग स्मूथली सिंथेसाइजिंग वेर एज दिस लूप इज कमिंग एंड द डीएनए पॉलीमरेज इज एबल टू सिंथेसाइज एंड लीव बट दट टाइम सेकेंड स्लाइडिंग क्लैम अलॉन्ग विद डीएनए पॉलीमरेज इज गेटिंग रेडी वो यहाँ पे आके बैठेगा फिर ये यहाँ तक ऐसे सिंथेसाइज कर कर आएगा इट विल लीव देन थर्ड देन फोर्थ ऐसे रेडी होगा तो इसलिए हमें Two top rotates are required for the lagging strand. Okay, we'll go now stepwise. <coughs> so, okay, so the resulting RNA. Okay, this is not required. So this model, let's talk about how the DNA replication is happening, and it is known as the trombone model. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, just just for convenience sake, I'm going to say that DNA pol one, two, three, and are all the DNA polymerase three, and just the numbers. I just want to refer to them. Okay. Uh, so, there's one of the DNA uh, pols which just uh, goes along the leading uh, leading strand and just continues until it runs out. And then there's another DNA pol that uh, actually starts. After leaving some part, which is a part of the loop, so that the direction uh, direction is huh. the direction is the same as the first DNA pole, and that continues on until it drops off. And by that time, the part which was left over is ready to be replicated, which is taken over by the third DNA pole. That is what happens, right? Yes. Yes. See, कैसा होगा जब तक ये इसको सिंथेसाइज कर रहा है The helicase is separating the strand. Leading ने तो अपना सिंथेसाइज कर लिया राइट बट द डीएनए पॉलिमर इज नॉट अवेलेबल ओवर हियर टू सिंथेसाइज सो तब तक के लिए सिंगल स्ट्रैंडेड बाइंडिंग प्रोटीन ने उसको बाइंड कर रखा है ओके एंड बट दाइम इट इज रीचिंग अब क्या होगा ये यहां से छोड़ देगा देन द सेकेंड विल कम एंड स्टार्ट ओवर हियर बाय द टाइम ये ऐसे सिंथेसाइज करते 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 यहां पर आएगा अगेन बाय द टाइम द अनदर एरिया द लूप इज फ्री For it to bind, okay. In the video, also the same thing is happening. I'll show slowly, slowly also exact. Ah, how is it happening? Okay. So let's study first all the steps how exactly it is happening, and then ah uh, ah uh, I'll show the video again. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm waiting for Chandni to join. Okay. <coughs>
Okay. Yes. So now everyone is back. Yeah. So the DNA polymerase, DNA pol three hollow enzyme, it interacts with the DNA helicase through the tau subunits, which also bind the DNA polymerase three core proteins. Now this is also important. Okay. The pol hollow enzyme is interacting with the helicase. So, जैसे जैसे आपका हेलिकेस आगे बढ़ रहा है उसी स्पीड से आपका होलो एंजाइम इज ऑल्सो मूविंग ठीक है ना वन डी एन ए पॉल को पॉल थ्री फोर इज रिप्लीकेटिंग द लीडिंग स्ट्रैंड वाइल द अदर टू आर डेडिकेटेड फॉर द लैगिंग स्ट्रैंड ओके ना सॉरी Now, DNA primase associates with the DNA helicase and synthesizes new RNA primer of the lagging strand. Now, one thing you have to remember is that primase is getting activated by the activity of the helicase. Now, in the video, give a little attention to the helicase. Something comes and binds. Okay, that something is nothing but the primase, which gets activated, and then only it is able to bind. तो आप ध्यान देना वहां पे प्राइमेज आएगा नाउ कैन यू सी दिस इज लीडिंग फ्रेंड ओके तो लीडिंग फ्रेंड आप छोड़ सकते हो जस्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ लैगिंग फ्रेंड में हो रहा है हम लोग वो भी डिस्कस कर रहे हैं ठीक है सो यू कैन सी ओवर हियर द प्राइमेज कम्स इट गेट्स एक्टिवेटेड एंड प्राइमर बना देता है ठीक है नाउ यू कैन सी दैट यहां पे तब तक आपका प्राइमर रेडी हो गया है करेक्ट बट द दिस डीएनए पॉल Three has synthesized this much, and it will synthesize till here, and then this DNA pol will follow. Okay, abhi primer yahan pe ready hai. So by the time your this third one, ye second ho gaya, ye first ho gaya. The third DNA pol three is ready now to get loaded over here. Jiska sliding lamp yahan pe rakha hai, ready. Open karke ready rakha hai. So jaise hi ye aage badega, primer ne apna kaam kar diya, right? So what is happening now? As I said, sliding clamp के लिए क्या जरूरी है? To have primer template junction, right? So जैसे ही यहाँ पे your primer template junction is ready, the clamp loader is going to put the clamp around over here. और जैसे ही clamp ready हो जाएगा, DNA polymerase जो third one है, it will come and sit over here and will start synthesizing. ये तब तक आपका गिर जाएगा. ठीक है, by the time आपका ये third one हो रहा है, again the clamp is ready and the DNA pol to the third protein is ready. Okay, so this is how during the elongation the DNA polymerase is synthesizing. Is this much part is clear? Yes ma'am. हाँ? Okay. Now immediately after the new RNA primer is synthesized. Sliding clamp loader. Sorry, the loader is assembling the DNA clamp at the resulting primer template junction. As I said, primer is hard to get. The moment it is removed, what is happening? Loader ne, sorry, the loader has put the clamp over here, right? So once the clamp is put over here, this DNA polymerase will come and sit over here and will start synthesizing this single-stranded DNA. अभी हमारे पास प्राइमर है डीएनए पॉलीमरेज है एंड डीएनए पीस आर प्रेजेंट इन द पूल सो इट कैन टेक इट फ्रॉम देयर लुक ओवर हियर तब तक आपका क्लैम्प भी आ गया अभी डीएनए पॉल भी आ गया द लुक इट ओवर हियर दिस इज ऑलमोस्ट गोइंग टू कंप्लीट राइट सो आफ्टर दैट दिस इज गोइंग टू लीव एंड बाय दिस टाइम दिस इज रेडी तब तक ये यहां पे सिंथेसाइज करेगा एंड यू कैन सी एट द बैक Again, the single sided DNA is free. Okay? So, for this, this portion is going to get ready. Again, we say you have to sliding clamp, DNA fall, and it will get ready over here. Is this much clear now? Yes? Yes. Yes. Now, this has started synthesizing. And, here you have to see it has left. Okay? Now it has left. Eventually, this will also remove. Now, जब तक यहाँ पे second primer नहीं आता और उसपे आपका sliding clamp नहीं आता, the third DNA polymerase cannot sit. जो आपका second था, अभी वो आपका third हो जाएगा. So the position of second and third polymerase will be changing. 
जो वन है दैट इज मेंट फॉर लीडिंग सेकेंड एंड थर्ड इज मेंट फॉर लैगिंग तो ये आपका बारी बारी करता रहेगा ओके सो दिस इज द प्रॉपर मॉडल ऑफ डीएनए रेप्लीकेशन सो सेम थिंग इज रिटन व्हाट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड so as one lagging strand dna polymer is synthesized in rokas agni fragment additional single stranded dna is generated by the helicase and tab tak aapka new primer bhi ready ho jata hai okay now as the lagging strand primer the new primer is recognized by this lagging clamp loader and jaise hi load hoga loader identify karega it is going to put the new lagging dna clamp ha huh? and jaise hi clamp ready ho jayega aapka dna polymerase bhi aa jayega okay so as your each okataki fragment is completed the responsible dna polymerase is released from the template and new it will come so because the release of the dna polymerase from the sliding clamp is slower process than the dna synthesis having a second dna polymerase dedicated for lagging thread synthesis is ensuring that lagging thread synthesis is also continuous even though it's a slow process slow polymerase release ठीक है नहीं तो क्या होगा जस्ट इमेजिन सपोज ओनली वन वन डीएनए पॉलीमरेज वाज डेडिकेटेड इट विल वेट एंड बाय द टाइम द लूप जो इतना बड़ा जो हमारा फॉर्म हो रहा है वो बहुत कलेक्ट हो जाएगा तो देयर आर चांसेस दैट दे इट माइट द सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड डीएनए माइट गेट टैंगल्ड अप इट टू ईच अदर एंड माइट ब्रेक ठीक है तो हमें हमारा रेप्लीकेशन का प्रोसेसिविटी फास्ट रखने के लिए वी आर मेकिंग श्योर दैट वी आर यूजिंग टू डीएनए पॉलीमरेज specially dedicated for the lagging strand okay now look at the video now dhyan se dekhna main beech beech mein rokti bhi rahungi to explain okay can you see it over here aapko tau protein samajh mein aa raha hai this is your loader can you see these hand kind of thing ye aapke tau protein se hai theek hai this is your clamp sliding clamp clamp sliding देखा वहां पे आके बैठा the moment it sits over there ये क्या गया आपका okay? it with the बना देता है देन योर क्लैम्प कम्स सिट्स ऑन दी लोडर लोडर इज गोइंग टू पुट द्लैम्प अराउंड द डी एन ए अगेन द प्राइमेज हेज कम वहां पे उसने येलो कलर का प्राइमर बना दिया दिस इज अडिंग क्लैम्प उसे सीधा बनाया जैसे ही यहाँ पे खत्म हुआ इट लीव सी दिस वन इज योर प्राइमेज उसने प्राइमर बनाया येलो कलर का yes everyone are you able to follow yes ma'am this is your helicase okay yahan pe aapka double stranded dna hai helicase hai it is opening so you can see that ye leading strand hai ye apna smoothly chal raha hai प्रॉब्लम कहा आती है लैगिंग स्ट्रैंड में सो यू कैन सी यहां पे सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड डीएनए है एक्सपोज्ड बेसिस है यहां पे ओके सी यहां पे क्लैम्प आपका रेडी हो गया है यहां पे सॉरी जैसे ही आपका डबल स्टैंडर्ड बन गया है यहां पे देयर इज नो फर्दर प्राइमर टेंपरेचर जंक्शन सो डीएनए पॉलीमरेज हैज लेफ्ट ओनली क्लैम्प इज प्रेजेंट सो व्हाट विल हैपन नाउ द लोडर हैज लेफ्ट दिस रीजन सो स्टैंडिंग क्लैम्प हट जाएगा बट बाय दैट टाइम इट हैज केप्ट रेडी ओवर हियर सेकंड से रेडी रखा था वी डीएनए पॉलीमरेज यहां पे देखो ये पर्पल कलर का डीएनए पॉलीमरेज इट इज सिंथेसाइज्ड लेट्स वॉच अगेन
अभी दोनों ही केसेस में क्या हो गए एवरीथिंग इज मूविंग इन दिस डायरेक्शन लीडिंग आल्सो लैगिंग आल्सो इन दिस डायरेक्शन ओके नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द रेगुलेशन ऑफ डीएनए रेप्लिकेशन now what kind of regulation we are talking about over here okay before this like i should ask is it clear with this replication is over okay with that video in the prokaryotes and there will be another short session for the eukaryotic ke zyada andar nahi aayega because you just need to remember the different names of the proteins associated jaise ki for example in the case of prokaryotes you have got the orc right in the case of uh, eukaryotes you are going to have orc origin recognition complex and the other proteins associated with that okay much difference is not going to come instead of dna polymerase 3 there we have got the dna pol alpha beta gamma delta itna hi difference aayega so anyways so before we shift to eukaryotes are you guys you know satisfied like do you understand dna replication now yes okay not 100% but once you refer it do you understand now ki ha is tarah se hamare body mein ya prokaryotes mein dna replication hota hai the concept is clear to you later you can remember the names of the proteins and all that is different story but do you understand the concept behind the dna replication kaise lagging ko bhi saath mein leading leke chal raha hai okay 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 so that is important for me so now let's talk about the regulation now when we talk about regulation what kind of regulation we are talking here it is that in one time in one time in one cell the replication should happen only once theek hai now how it is achieved that is what we are going to discuss so in all organism it is critical that replication initiation be tightly controlled to ensure that chromosome number and the cell number remain appropriately balanced theek hai nahi to kya hoga if the number changes you know that in nucleoidy if even if you have more number of chromosomes or less number of chromosomes it is going to result into the genetic disorder right so that's why it is important that in the cell one time okay the replication should happen and then only the division should happen now let's talk about in the case of e coli so we know something about the dam methyl transferase so earlier we talked about the gatc sequences also okay so we know that the dam methylase they add the methyl group at the adenine kahan kahan pe jahan pe bhi aapka gatc sequences hai <coughs> now what can you tell about the e sequences this is your orc remember 13 mer and 9 mer units are there 5 9 are there and 3 13 are there right so this is this is nothing but the orc now what do we see over here before replication gatc jahan jahan pe bhi aapka gatc hai it is methylated okay can you see can you understand so this is before replication so you have got the methyl group present everywhere wherever you have got the gatc sequences so the genome is fully methylated <coughs> now now this situation is changed once after each gatc sequence is replicated so now what will happen the daughter strand is not going to have the methylation correct the daughter strand is not going to have the methylation only the parental strand is going to have the methylation and the daughter strand is not having parental strand is having so that condition is known as happy methylation right so this heavy methylated state of newly replicated orc dna is detected by a protein called sec q a okay sec a sorry sec a <coughs> now this is going to bind this sec a is going to bind tightly to the gatc sequence only when it is heavy methylated 
ओके ना हेवी मिथाइलेटेड कब होगा जब आपका रेप्लिकेशन हो जाएगा सो पेरेटल स्ट्रैंड एंड डॉटर स्ट्रैंड इज पेरेटल हैविंग द मिथाइलेशन डॉटर स्ट्रैंड नॉट हैविंग द मिथाइलेशन ओके एंड वी नो दैट नियर ओराइसी देर आर सो मेनी जी एटी सी सिक्वेंसेस सो वंस रेप्लिकेशन हैज इनिशिएटेड से क्यू बाइंड टू दीज साइट्स बिफोर दे कैन बिकम फुल्ली मिथाइलेटेड बाय द डैम मिथाइल ट्रांसफरेज गाइस इज दिस स्लाइड क्लियर टू यू so what we have discussed we have discussed that after the replication you have got the parental strand methylated right and daughter strand not methylated so this condition is known as heavy methylated and to this heavy methylated condition the protein is sec a protein comes in bind okay and we know that at orc there are many gatc sequences okay <clears throat> now the significance of binding of sec q a sec a to the heavy methylated uh, or ic so what is happening is that uh, if you remember in the case of or ic we have got those five units of nine mer sequences correct and dna a binding protein kaha bind karta hai it binds to these regions only okay so now at this heavy methylated region when uh, sec a protein goes in bind it is blocking it is preventing the rebinding of the dna a binding protein okay so it is preventing the new round of replication agar waha pe sec a protein nahi hota then dna a binding protein will go again it bind to these sequences and will reinitiate the replication but we have got the sec a proteins to inhibit or to prevent the second round of replication okay so this is going to prevent the rapid replication uh, while the first one is going on is this much clear to everyone Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Get the figure. It will be more clear now. <clears throat> okay. So you have got the ORIC over here. Okay. This is your ORIC. Now you can see that both the strands are <coughs> methylated. Right. Now initiation of the replication. So you can see that the daughter strands is not methylated. the moment this region the orc region is getting replicated the sec a protein will come and bind wherever you have got the gatc sequences and only heavy methylated state it can bind always remember theek hai abhi so just imagine agar ye sec q protein nahi hota so what will happen ye sequence yahan bhi present hai ye sequence aapke newly daughter strand mein bhi present hai right so the dna a binding protein can come and start the another round of replication yahan pe bhi shuru ho jayega fir yahan pe bhi shuru ho jayega okay before the previous uh, replication has been getting completed so isliye sec a protein will come and bind over here okay so now what is happening now the dam methylase cannot uh, methylate dna a binding protein cannot bind okay so it is preventing now once prevention has been done okay sec a will leave once sec a is leaving then dimethylase can come and methylate the daughter strand okay now once it is methylated now the dna a protein can come back again and start the reinitiation of the replication clear the regulation of dna replication is it clear no this is also important because many a time question has come and this is only possible in the case of uh, e coli so uh, there is always a question uh, they ask that we know that e coli at optimum conditions like good temperature and 37 degree celsius takes 20 minutes to divide okay but the entire replication of its genome takes 40 minutes 
सो कायदे से देखा जाए इट शुड टेक अनदर ट्वेंटी मिनट्स टू डिवाइड बट वी नो दैट इक्वलाइज टेक ओनली ट्वेंटी मिनट्स उसका जनरेशन टाइम ट्वेंटी मिनट्स है टू डिवाइड बट उसका एक जीनोम को पूरा रेप्लीकेट होने में फोर्टी मिनट्स लगते हैं सो हाउ इज इट पॉसिबल सो इन द केस ऑफ इक्वलाई वॉट दे वॉट दे डू इज so in the case of e coli what happens is that as you can see in the figure so kaisa dikh raha hai you have got the e coli inside the genome is there and you can see that the moment it is reaching its termination sequences the second round of replication has started hai na so while it is getting separated while it is getting separated cell division jab uska ho raha hai along with that along with the cell division you can see that the second round of replication has already initiated yes <coughs> are you able to follow yes ma'am yeah and that's why and that's why we say that it takes only 20 minutes for the dna for the e coli to re, uh, divide but the entire time for the replication is taken is 40 minutes aur jaise iska second round hoga jaise it is reaching its replication end over here termination what will happen another bubble you can see over here it means for the next round it is getting ready okay so being actively replicated the cell gets divided but this is not true in the case of the eukaryotes eukaryotes mein jab tak sab kuch nahi ho jata it will not undergo uh, m phase or the mitosis okay aisa nahi ki aadha divide ho gaya and then because see in the case of eukaryotes we don't have circular dna right we have got 23 pairs jab tak wo acche se align nahi hote एक दूसरे के साथ तब तक उनको हम डिवाइड नहीं कर सकते सो दैट्स वाई इन द केस ऑफ यू कैर इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल ओके इज दिस मच क्लियर टू एवरी वन या सो नाउ आई बी हैविंग एमसीक्यूज फॉर यू 